Well, hello, everybody. Um, today, I just want to give my thoughts on the new uh, Child's Play film. Um, wow. <laughs> it's trash. Um, the number one thing I have to say, it is trash. I'm going to keep it because I want to have a Child's Play collection. I'm only missing one. Um... But it really shows that it's not uh, Don Mancini, uh, the original writer of uh, 1988 cult classic Child's Play. It's pretty much about... It's, it never says if it's Andy Barkley and all that, but it's you don't only really say their their family name and all that but in, in the movie. But it's Andy and his mother. Uh, pretty much his mother works in a crappy little... Uh, um, store and all that called Zed Mart. So yeah, one day she uh she buy well she she buys um a my buddy doll and all that. And pretty much what she doesn't know and a lot of uh, even Andy doesn't know that the doll is completely evil. Well, pretty much the premise is really weird and fucked up. Like, the guy that built the fucking thing, when he was supposed to be building it, got, uh, supposed to be firing everything, just created something, put, I, I don't know, a virus in there, or some code, and just pretty much committed suicide. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just really, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um... But yeah, it's pretty much... There's nothing interesting in the film. Um, to me, compared to the 1988 version, compared to the 2009 version... Uh, not 2019 version, I should say. Not 2009. Um, it doesn't have a heart. It doesn't have passion. Um, it's a soulless movie. That pretty much only for uh, cash grab. And I'm so happy I never went to go see it in the movie theater because it never came here, here where I am. Um, but yeah, uh, a really a terrible uh, reimagining of uh, uh, Child's Play and all that. And the writer of this, uh, the director of the movie, um, Lars Klefberg and all that. Never seen any of his movies. But... I don't know if it was a terrible script that he was given or if he just really started to direct. I don't know. But the film made no sense to me. Um, it's, it's just like a lot of horror movies these days. Jump scares. I hate jump scares. And you have to put a little red stuff in there just to uh, please the certain people and, and, and everything. To me, what really was Child's Play was a, psycho ma a psychopathic maniac that took his soul and put in a fucking doll and pretty much killed people. And it had a story. This one right here doesn't have a story. Doesn't have anything interesting to do with it and all that. A lot of the kids, pretty much I hated them all. Um, a lot of the acting, to me, was was um, wooden and just really it wasn't given with passion and everything. Uh, the actress that played uh, Andy's uh, mom and everything didn't like her. Um, I, I don't know. It's like she didn't fit the excuse me fit fit the bill. Um, she seemed a little too young and she seemed like she was a teenager and all that. I was looking at her and everything. And it's like she was a teenager. So it's basically like she was his sister or something like that. To me, honestly, you should have taken an actress that looked a heck of a lot older and everything uh, to make it more interesting to me. And what, what really... One thing that they should have done to... Um, as an homage to the original 1988 cult classic film, is do what the original mother did and all that, that she fixed herself. Probably Andy's right. 
Um, I'm going to go check the doll, see if uh, pretty much w what is going on with it and all that. And yeah, it starts attacking. It's pretty much, it's uh, Chucky and yeah, he's obsessed with Andy and anybody that wants to play with Andy, do talk to Andy whatsoever, it's going to kill him. So, uh, probably one, two of my favorite scenes in the film has to be uh, Stepfather getting killed and everything, and the fat guy. Um, pretty much, you, you'll know what, I, what I'm talking about and all that. Uh, the fat, fat guy that found uh, Chucky when Andy got rid of it and everything. But yeah, um, out of possible ten, I'd probably give this movie three... 3.5 out of a 10. An attempt at making uh, a good uh, reimagining of uh, Chucky. Uh, but it just really didn't work. Um, to me, honestly, just like um, one, one reviewer on a website, I think it was Amazon, and was saying it was like the Terminator doll. And it, it is. It's just basically like it shouldn't be called uh, child's Play should be called Terminator Doll or something like that because it's pretty much what it is. It's a fucking Terminator Doll that is obsessed with a, th a person and all that and will never let that person go. It, it will kill anybody that comes in contact with and everything. Either it accidentally hurts Andy or, um, but yeah. Uh, what really else can I say? Um, I just hope that um, the original writer of Child's Play, I I'm so happy he had nothing to do with this one. Uh, the reason why he never did a remake or reimagining of Child's Play is he's doing a, a TV series. and um, I, I don't know where it's going to be, but there is a Child's Play series and all that coming in the near future. So um, I hope this thing rots and that nobody ever sees it because it deserves the negative thoughts that everything pretty much uh, that it gets. And a lot of people liked it. And this is what pisses me off today is people will like generic garbage. People will never... To be honest, a lot of people, if it ain't made by Hollywood and all that, it's garbage. Night of the Living Dead, Return of the Living Dead, Zombie, uh, hmm, let's see, so many amazing Jaws, um, my all-time favorite horror movie of all time, the original 1970s, uh, call classic, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They never could, to this day, they never could remake uh, what Toby Hooper, the, the passion they gave in the, that original film, called the, the Legendary. I, I don't even call it a fucking call class. I call it a legendary film because it's that fucking good. It's still, the atmospheric of the film is so creepy still that, yeah. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much what I have to say about uh, the new Child's Play and all that. Don't buy it. Uh, don't even buy it on pay-per-view. Wait until it comes on Netflix. Wait until it comes on Amazon Prime. Wait. Wait and just watch it. Man. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your hard-earned money on garbage like this. And yeah. Anyways, good day.